I'm Shalini, we working as assistant professor of physics. In this video, I will discuss the topic for the session 29 for first SEM BASC. The topic of the session is moment of inertia of a solid sphere and hollow cylinder and extension to the solid cylinder as a special case of hollow cylinder. Before going for in detail for the calculation of moment of inertia in case of a solid cylinder, then on the a hollow cylinder, we have to know what is the moment of inertia, then radius of gyration, and also we require the formula for moment of inertia of a circular disk about an axis passing through the center and perpendicular to its plane. Then first, what is the moment of inertia? Moment of inertia of any rigid body is given by mass multiplied by distance square. That is I is equal to mk square. In this expression, m is the mass of the body and k is called as the radius of gyration. Radius of gyration, it is a distance of the point from the axis of rotation at which the entire mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated. Then the formula for moment of inertia of a circular disk about an axis passing through its center and perpendicular to its plane is given by moment of inertia I is equal to mass of the disk into radius square divided by 2. Knowing all this one, let us now consider the calculation of moment of inertia for a solid sphere about different axes. Now let us consider a solid sphere. So this is a solid sphere of radius r and O is the center of the sphere and let m be the mass of the sphere and let small m represent the mass per unit volume of the sphere that is mass of the sphere divided by volume of the sphere which is equal to capital M is the total mass divided by volume of the sphere of radius r is 4 by 3 pi r cube. From this one, the expression for mass, total mass m is equal to 4 by 3 pi m r cube. Let this be equation 1. Then now we shall consider an axis first, the diameter. So we have to calculate the moment of inertia of a solid sphere about its diameter. Now to calculate that one, let us consider a sphere having a radius r and let a b be the, axis, uh, the diameter of the sphere. About this diameter, we have to determine the moment of inertia of the sphere. To calculate moment of inertia about the axis AB, let us imagine that whole this solid sphere is divided into small slices in the vertical fashion. Then in that one, consider one of the slice in it. So the red colored slice I have indicated here, this is the one of the slice which is considered this be having a thickness dx and let this slice be at a distance of x from the center O. Then from this one, the what will be the radius of the, the slice which is indicated here with the red color means it is applying Pythagoras theorem, it is root of r square minus x square. Then that is radius of the slice is equal to root of r square minus x square. After knowing the radius, its area is nothing but pi r square that is nothing but pi into root of r square minus x square whole square. Then afterwards the volume of the disk is pi into root of r square minus x square whole square into its thickness that is dx. Hence the mass of the disk which is nothing but equal to, so since here small m represent the mass per unit volume but here the disk is having a volume of this much hence mass of the disk is equal to m into pi r2 square minus x square into dx. Then afterwards we have to calculate its moment of inertia. So what is the moment of inertia of this slice which is indicated here with the red color means moment of inertia of this slice about the axis AB which is nothing but the moment of inertia of a circular disk about an axis which passes through its center and perpendicular to the plane of the disk. So AB is now it is perpendicular to the plane of the slice which is taken and it passes through its center. Now what is the moment of inertia of this slice about this axis AB means it is nothing but the it is equal to mass of the slice multiplied by radius square divided by 2 the formula which I already mentioned in the prerequisites. Then substituting the values of mass of the slice and the radius of the slice in this equation I dash AB is equal to pi m r square minus x square into dx which is nothing but the mass of the slice multiplied by the radius square that is equal to pi m by 2 into r square minus x square whole square. Take this as equation 4. So now what we have calculated is the moment of inertia of the small element 
about the axis AB. Knowing the moment of inertia of the slice about the axis AB, what is the total moment of inertia of the entire uh, uh, solid sphere? That means we have to integrate this equation I dash AB between the limits. So we have to consider the sli all the slices which exist from one end to the another end of the solid sphere. So for that reason, we have to integrate this equation I dash AB between the limits zero to R. If we integrate this equation between the limits zero to R, we will add the slices which lie from center to the one extreme end. But also we have to consider here the slices which lie on the other side also. So for that one, we have to calculate the total moment of inertia. We have to integrate this I dash AB between the limit zero to R and take the twice the value. That gives the total moment of inertia of the entire solid sphere. So the MI of the sphere about the diameter AB, it is equal to the twice of the integral of the integral between the limit zero and R. So therefore, if I A B, which is nothing but a moment of inertia of the solid sphere about its diameter, it is equal to integration of 0 to R 2 times of I dash A B. Substitute the value of I dash A B from the equation 4. After substituting this one, now integrate this one. If you integrate this one, so now firstly you have to expand this one by using the formula a minus b whole square. If we expand this one, this will be r power 4 plus x power 4 minus 2 r square x square. Now on integration and also on substituting the limits, we get pi m into r power 5 plus r power 5 by 5 minus 2 by 3 r power 5. And uh, this is equal to pi m into 8 r power 5 by 5 into 3. R, this can be written as pi into just I will split 8 into 4 into 2 and r power 5 as r cube into r square and then what will be the 4 pi m r cube by 3 it is nothing but the small capital M which is the mass of the solid sphere from equation 1 we know that one pi m 4 pi m r cube by 3 is nothing but capital M taking this value as capital M we will get the moment of inertia of the solid sphere about an axis AB, which is nothing but its diameter, it is equal to 2 by 5 m r square. So now this is the expression for moment of inertia of a solid sphere about an axis, which is nothing but its diameter. Then comparing this equation with a general expression that is mk square, the k value that is radius of gyration in this case, it is equal to root of 4, 2 by 5 into r. So this is the moment of inertia of the solid sphere about its diameter. Now let us calculate the moment of inertia about a tangent which is parallel to the diameter. So now here this is the tangent PQ is a tangent which is parallel to the diameter AB. Already we have calculated in the first case the moment of inertia about AB. Then about a parallel axis PQ can be calculated by using a parallel axis theorem. Now here the two parallel axes are separated by a distance which is nothing but the radius of the sphere. Then according to parallel axis theorem that is moment of inertia about any parallel axis IPQ it is equal to the moment of inertia of the so body about an axis passing through its center plus product of mass of the body and square of the separation between the two axes. So hence IPQ is equal to already we can, that is IPQ is nothing but equal to IPQ is what we have to calculate which is equal to IAB we have calculated which is nothing but 2 by 5 MR square plus MR square which is nothing but equal to 7 by 5 MR square. So IPQ here it is a moment of inertia of the solid sphere about a tangent parallel to the diameter with the k value it is equal to root of 7 by 5 into r. So this is all about the moment of inertia of a solid sphere about an axis which is parallel to the that is about a tangent parallel to the diameter. Then next we shall consider the second rigid body which is a hollow cylinder. We have to calculate moment of inertia of a hollow cylinder about its own axis. First initially would we'll consider a hollow cylinder. So this is a hollow cylinder having a length L and let R1 be the internal radius or inner radius of the cylinder and let R2 be the outer radius of the cylinder. 
and again similarly here let m capital m represent the mass of the cylinder then let small m be the mass per unit volume of the cylinder so what is total mass which is equal to m so therefore small m is equal to capital m divided by volume of the cylinder is nothing but equal to so complete if we take the radius r2 it is pi r2 square is the solid cylinder then inner solid cylinder it is pi r1 square so pi r2 square minus pi r1 square c gives the area of this hollow cylinder into length gives the volume so pi into r2 square minus r1 square into l is the volume of the cylinder so from this one capital m is equal to pi ml into r2 square minus r1 square take this as equation 1 then next we shall calculate the moment of inertia of this hollow cylinder about its axis so this is the axis of the cylinder about this axis now we have to determine the moment of inertia so to calculate that one again so this is the moment of calculation of moment of inertia for hollow cylinder about its own axis now to calculate that one again here the whole hollow cylinder we, do, we have to consider, imagine that it is made up of a number of coaxial cylinders. So this hollow cylinder, imagine that hollow cylinder consists of a number of coaxial play cylinder placed one inside the other. In that one consider one of it, that is consider one of the element in it or the one of the coaxial cylinder. So here I have represented with the red color one, which is the element which is chosen here. And let this cylinder that is a coaxial cylinder or the element is having the radius x and having a thickness dx. Then volume of this element that is a coaxial cylinder it is equal to its surface area multiplied by its thickness. Since here it is having a thickness dx and it is having a radius x then its volume is equal to 2 pi xl into dx. Then what will be the mass of the cylinder means since small m is the mass per unit volume. So mass of the cylinder is equal to small m into 2 pi xl into dx. Then which is nothing but equal to 2 pi ml into dx. So after calculating mass what we have to calculate its moment of inertia about the axis pq. So its moment of inertia about this axis pq which is nothing but equal to mass multiplied by its distance from the axis of rotation. So now mi of this cylinder about pq is equal to I have denoted this one i dash pq which is equal to mass of the cylinder is 2 pi ml x into dx multiply its distance square from the axis. So this cylinder is at a distance of x from the axis hence it is x square. So we have calculated the moment of inertia of the element about the axis pq which is i dash pq. Then next we have to calculate the total moment of inertia for the entire hollow cylinder. To calculate that one what we have to do we have to integrate the i dash pq between a particular limits. So here we have to consider the cylinders or the elements which lie from here to from here to that is from here to here. Oh, for all the cylinders we have to add the moment of inertia. So this is the moment of inertia of the single element. We have to calculate the total moment of inertia for the entire cylinder means we have to add the moment of inertia for all the elements which lie from here to here. So we have to add the total moment of inertia for all the coaxial cylinder. For that one we have to integrate this i dash p dash i dash p q between the limits r1 to r2. So therefore total moment of inertia of the entire solid say that not a solid hollow cylinder about pq is i pq is equal to integration from r1 to r2 i dash pq substitute i dash pq which is nothing but equal to 2 pi ml into x cube on integration what you will get is this is x cube integration of x cube is x power 4 by 4 limits are r1 and r2 substitute the limits it will be pi ml by 2 into r2 to the power of 4 minus r1 to the power of 4. So now this can be written as r2 square whole square and this can be written as r1 square whole square then that becomes a square minus b square expanding that one what you will get is pi, L, pi ml by 2 into r2 square minus a minus b into a plus b. 
then but from equation 1 we know that pi m l into r2 square minus r1 square this value it is equal to total mass of the cylinder so replacing this one by capital m what you will get is moment of inertia of, of the hollow cylinder about its axis that is i p q it is equal to this whole value is capital m so m by 2 into r2 square plus r1 square so this is the equation for moment of inertia of the hollow cylinder about its own axis in this case the radius of gyration value is square root of r2 square plus r1 square by 2. So, this is all about the moment of inertia of a hollow cylinder about its own axis. Now, let us extend this one to a solid cylinder taking the special case for the hollow cylinder. So, suppose if r1 equal to 0, if, uh, if in a figure, if we take that if r1 equal to 0 as we have mentioned in the figure, if r1 equal to 0 means the cylinder becomes a solid cylinder. So then the in the equation what we obtain in the equation for play, put the value of r1 equal to 0 then what you will get is moment of inertia of the hollow cylinder not the hollow solid cylinder about the axis pq it is equal to half m r2 square because r1 equal to 0. Then oh, let us consider that since the, here it is having one, one radius so hence r2 can be written as equal to r. So, let us consider that R2 is equal to R, then this equation can be done as I P Q is equal to half into M R square. Now, this equation is nothing but the moment of inertia of a solid cylinder about its own axis, where K value is equal to R by root 2. So, this is about the moment of inertia of hollow and a solid cylinder. So, these are the books which I have referred. Thank you.